de la Rurem, getting us underway. Fast and furious serve down the line. Can match it up with a backhand. Uh, and she get across on the forehand. And you heard the little groan from the Croat. Knew that she'd given her opponent a little bit too much space there. to get across the net. Right into a two-point lead here in the opening moments of this gold medal match. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's well hit by Grebe. After dropping the first two points on her own serve, now she's settling into the match. Give any of these top-class players room to swing on their forehand side, and something's coming back with plenty of pace. Good movement from uh, Greb. Oh, she'll be disappointed with that. You can see what she's trying to do. Obviously, just serve on the angle, make it difficult for Pavic. <laughs> this time, wide enough from Pavic. She knows she has to get that right because Gray, with a little extra ability to get around the table, can sometimes hit those forehands. So it is a calculated risk from this woman here. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> We've heard that a lot in the uh, lead up to this match. She likes to celebrate the point. gone long and it's a five point advantage in this first game what you see a lot of the players try to do or hear them do is uh, vocally dominate the table she stood strong there didn't she because grave threw everything at her from the little <laughs> angled serve to that forehand, which is brilliant, but look at the stretch from Pavic. So she generally just sets herself up on the left side of the center line. She's got greater reach on the forehand, clearly. Pavic has won six points in a row. She has eight clean points. Four minutes gone. It's not been a, a slow first game. Oh, and gives up rather meekly. You see what she's trying to do. She's trying to angle some across. This time, try to get it down the line. And uh, it wasn't to be for Steffi Greb, the German conceding the first game in just five minutes, 11-2.
Kavuşlar testlerden alttan da kalmış. Bu her zaman iki testler. Alles okay. Es ist nur alles zu... Zu brav. Vamos, auf! Beweg dich, Sergi, beweg dich, komm! Grave sent back with uh, a lot of encouragement and uh, a lot of talk about the tactics at the table. Yeah, a positive look and smile from the coaches is always a good thing to see. It has been a, a fascinating duel in that first game. It'll be interesting to see if Grave does change the way she approaches this match. Has been looking for the little angles. Certainly has tried to hit that forehand, but uh, this woman here, Pavic, has been equal to everything. Has Marta chat with herself, <laughs> Sandra Pavic. And 11-2, the first game. Things have got to change radically for Greba to get into the match. Sweep up behind the ball, as we've noted. You, it's a low percentage amount of contact opportunity, really. Sure. Works well when it works. Well, that's what she's been trying to get the uh, mistake from Pavic on that little dink cross table. Making the cry have to stretch out of her comfort zone. The ball was there to be hit. Uh, Pavic won't like that soft error, really. Well, has a score line of two all. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> well, we've seen that forehand before, and this time she's pumped up because that's an excellent shot. Gets the rotation, gets the top spin, gets it onto the edge of the table. Just long, just long from the Croat. She's busy giving herself a lecture. Cheer from Grave. Difficult shot, that one. Difficult to get to for the German, but she did ever so well, just couldn't land it. Another one. Yeah, just rolled it across the net. Sharply angled forehand. She really had to stretch for it. It wasn't a bad shot or a bad idea from Pavic. And uh, excellent. Bit of momentum now behind the German. Good long serve. I think it was a uh, real cat and mouse, wasn't it? A few real strong strokes, a couple of floaters to the back of the table. Ten strokes in that one. She needs a coach, she's busy lecturing herself. <laughs> the turn of surf was spectacular from Sandra Pavic. It was a really good surf and grave. Just looking to take it away, and she stretched so well to get there, and that was the basis 
of uh, winning that point and from being behind, she's now two points ahead. Take the little break at 7-5. The, uh, the Croatian red and white check colours unmistakable wherever you see them around the world. It's uh, a timeout and, oh sorry, yeah. Because of the uh, mobility issues for uh, Pavic, they'll take the timeout right by the umpire. Uh, a Croatian friend of mine back home who's uh, got split allegiances between uh, Australia and Croatia. Uh, when Croatia plays Australia in football, he's, he's never quite sure who to support. But on this particular occasion, he decided he would support Australia. And <laughs> it was a World Cup, a World Cup match. And up went the chant, you're red. You're white. You're going home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and he, said he wants to take the credit for initiating uh, initiating the chant. Well, there's always a certain thrill, isn't there, from starting a chant in a, yeah. at a sporting event? That's right. You feel kind of good about that. Yeah. Can't say it's happened too often to me. Sporting sporting fans can be great fun uh, as long as it's done in the right spirit. She's looking very strong, isn't she? Dominating the table. Yeah. Just a bit long. Philip for the German athlete, back to just two behind. long and any points to take a two gain and nothing lead here for Sandra Pavic it must be outstanding so far no. one saved gone long and just seven minutes this time to wrap up this game and uh, she's looking very strong the Croat Sandra Pavic two games to love up in this gold medal match in class six Pavic really looks like she's enjoying herself out there that's always easier when you're comprehensively in front and it's interesting, isn't it? I mean, we always talk about if you can stay at the table, let the other person do the work. In class six, you know, certainly in Pavic's case, you don't have an option in that. So your whole game plan is is based around reaching what you can, making the other do the work. And uh, Greb has has been very busy around the table, but despite that, Pavic has been sending most things back with a bit of interest. Pavic that places a premium on, on the speed of her reactions. She can't retreat from the table. She's got to get the job done. Yeah, and if it's coming at you quick, you're right, she has phenomenal reaction times. So she leads at 11 2, 11 7, a 33 year old from Zagreb. 
Let's grab it. To serve. score off and get back into this match. Yeah, and needs a bit of momentum behind her, doesn't she? She was ahead early in the second game, but was soon in trouble again. Great angles from Pavic. Again, talking about making Gleba do all the work, and she did get to that ball. Good work from the German athlete, but just not quite good enough. to put back the returns if you want to make some progress in this game. It strikes me, Pavic would never be lonely. She's always got herself to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hear she's a bubbly character. I don't think she'll be wanting for people to have a chat to. But you're right, if she was on a desert island, she could still have a conversation. 4-1. She wouldn't need Tom Hanks's football, would she? She could just talk, talk to um, Sandra Pavic. Oh, okay, come on. very nearly crept over the net and onto the table. But uh, a point for the German. Flat, fast serve. That's a little bit caught by surprise. <laughs> she's a very smiley girl as well, isn't she? It's nice to see. Absolutely. Even when she's lost the point, she'll give herself a little wry smile. Not much smiling to be done for Greb. She's a really in a lot of trouble here in this match. Long. German coach trying to get something happening here for Steffi Greber. Yeah, can only give encouragement, can't give coaching during the match. Where well, you see the coaches clapping long and hard just to get their point across to their charges. 7 3, edging towards a gold medal point here. Pavic has only lost five points on her own serve in the whole match. Oh, oh took an edge. A little acknowledgement. You take anything in this situation. All counts. That's long. Just uh, too powerful for the German. Everything keeps coming back. Eventually, you're going to miss. Two points away from the gold medal now. Five minutes on the clock for this game. Not been long ones. And now the woman from Zagreb has six gold medal points. And takes it. <laughs> she has been fun to watch and she has very much enjoyed what's happened here and has taken it in straight games 11 2 11 7 11 4 
It's the gold medal for Sandra Pavic against Steffi Greber. Lovely sportsmanship. The two met in the World Championship final, and it was the Croat who prevailed there, and uh, she has prevailed here. And uh, what a journey she has been on after that uh, road accident, which left her with the spinal injuries in, what, 2009. And she rededicated herself to the sport of table tennis, and that was the moment when it all paid off. You know, but right through the match, he exemplified what Sir Philip Craven of the IPC asks of the athletes, do your best and enjoy doing it. And we saw that over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, she'll be all smiles on the podium. That coming up a little bit later in this session. But there's confirmation. A easy win in the end for Croatia and for Sandra Pavic. Shake of the head there from the German coach saying, yes, you were too good. Congratulations. The best of spirits this match played in. And a great result for Pavic. Defeating Steffi Greber, 2-7.